Welcome to Doodos and Don't Don'ts, where we show you how to be the best pet parent you can be. No matter the cost, literally. So you're getting a divorce. Milo, I have something to tell you. I'm sorry. We've all been there. Metaphorically speaking. Zapatero. ¿Qué opina usted del gobierno de Zapatero? Pues igual que yo. Obviously, one of the most challenging parts of a breakup is breaking the news to your pet. But don't worry. With these tips, we're going to help you make this transition as smooth as possible. For your pets, at least. I'm sorry, Cynthia. We can't help you. And neither can that bottle of Merlot. Okay, here's how to tell your pet you're getting a divorce. Do. Make sure you and your fellow divorcer are in a good enough place to speak calmly to your pet. This is not going to ever get your paper. Milky, you're never going to do that again. Okay. Oh, yeah. Don't. Have the conversation while your pet might be distracted. You want their undivided attention during this time, and you can't have that if this is happening. Uh... Do make it clear how much you both equally love your pet. Don't let your pet think for a second that this is their fault. Who's done this? Who's done this? He thinks it's funny. toys or treats to explain to your pet what divorce is. Don't make your pet choose who they want to live with. What is this, the ending of Airbud? But seriously, one of you is not going to be happy with that result and you won't be able to live with yourself because you'll be the clown. Do explain to your pet the positive things that'll come out of this, like Double the homes, double the toys, double the treats, and double the furniture to destroy. Don't. Be upset if your pet acts out for a little while. This might be a difficult time for them. And to be honest, it's basically your fault if you find in your shoe. Poop. Oh, oh, okay. Now I see what it is. Do. Try to figure out this whole custody thing as amicably as possible, including vacations and holidays. Alexa, Christmas lights on. Okay. Ooh. Don't. Use your pet as any kind of revenge or leverage against your ex. You have a million ways to get back at them. Don't bring the chinchilla into this. Okay, that wraps up how to tell your pet you're getting a divorce. Hopefully they can pull a parent trap situation and bring you back together. If not, good luck and dog speed. Is it wine o'clock? <laughs> Get it. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure to tune in next week for How to Tell If Your English Bulldog is the Reincarnation of Winston Churchill. <laughs> and what to do next if he is.